ha ha. I mistakenly thought that um, my gig at Nordstrom today was at four, from four to six. Not from one to three, or one to four. So I've been up all night. Well, I've been up. <laughs> I was so proud of myself yesterday for finally waking up and um, actually being daytime. And my bangs really, wow, they're like, nerk. <laughs> I need to have them cut by someone other than myself because they look really bad right now. Um, yeah, I was so proud of myself for actually waking up and having a day. I got up to six. I was so proud of myself. And I, I knew eventually that I would get back to nighttime hours. And I totally did. But it didn't take me a week. It took me a day. <laughs> so I was up. Um, I was streaming. What the hell are you? Why are you crazy cat? You are not my cat. Oh, he's gone already. We have cats that come. I have one cat that comes in my freaking... The cat door... There's an orange tabby that keeps coming in the cat door and he doesn't belong to me. He doesn't belong in this house. But he keeps coming in and I've actually caught him upstairs in my room. Like I wake up and I hear my cats hissing and then I look down and there's a strange tabby in my room. And there was just a black cat. Was, anyway, yeah, I was so proud of myself. I'm trying to make coffee. I was so proud of myself for being up. And during the day, and there's no more coffee in there, crap. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I streamed later that night um, on Twitch, and uh, because I was still in the middle of my solo run run. And crap, there's no more coffee in the freezer either. Are we out of coffee? You've got to be kidding me. I was so proud of myself that I got up, um, but I started streaming, and of course I streaming, I was streaming, and I it's it's hard not to put the controller down when it's just me. But when you have an audience that's engaged and everybody's chatting and everybody's liking the game and everybody's like really excited about what's happening, it's even way, it's, I mean, it's, it's impossible. So I was doing that yesterday and I went to bed and, um, 7, I think, a.m. <laughs> yeah, I was up for like 25 hours. Um, I woke up, I got up at 10 p.m. today. I think this is, I think the only coffee we have is this, the raw coffee, so I'm going to have to roast it myself. Um, but yeah, so I got up at 10, I got it at 10 p.m. And I told everybody that I was going to be up streaming again at 7 to complete the stream. <laughs> and I was like, I was actually supposed to call up with somebody. Um, oh, oh, it's a disaster in here. See, look. I got, okay, I'm trying to just one, one hand. A little thing over here. It's the stuff. Yeah, I was supposed to actually stream with somebody, and um, I was totally not there on time. I woke up at ten. I actually I set my alarm for. Whoa! You do not want to stay on there, do you, sir? There we go. That doesn't want to stay on there. So I actually got up at, um, I set my alarm for seven. I set my alarm for seven o'clock and it actually went off and I was about ready to get up, but I was having this awesome dream about, um, it was a school of wizardry. So I was actually, um, I mean, it was one cool that it was like a sorcery school. I don't know if the video games have been playing have anything to do with that because I wasn't playing as a sorcerer. But I do like sword and sorcery, so that's because I'm a freaking nerd. But yeah, so I was um, in a school of sorcery, but the principal of the school had some friend that was um, that was coming in, and he was like a guest teacher, or he was hired as a teacher, or something like that. And, um, he, I, I can't remember exactly what happened, but he was, he was doing something with me. Like he made some advances on me or something happened where I had to fight him off and it was not okay. And he got violent for some reason. And I can't remember why. I don't think it was sexual, but, um, yeah. 
So I actually, I ran, I ran to the principal's office. So I was running to the principal's office and um, he followed me in there and um, something happened and he ended up hitting me or something like that. The principal saw and saw the look on the principal's face and obviously it was gonna be a problem. Um, so he tried to cast some magic to erase the principal's memory, but he did it too much and accidentally killed him. <laughs> which is one of his friends. So then there was that to deal with. He eventually brought the principal back to life, but then swore me to secrecy. So we worked out whatever our problem was. And I don't remember what the problem was. I don't remember how we worked it out, but eventually worked it out. And then he told me, you know, not to tell the principal. Not to, so I decided, you know, I told him I wasn't gonna go to authorities or anything like that. I wasn't gonna tell anybody. But I had this shard of wood in my hand from the struggle that had been, in, it had been in there for like a week in my dream. So this was a week after the thing happened and I had been struggling with this, like the guy, you know, the principal who was a friend of mine as well, trying not to tell this guy what had happened. We had, you know, numerous interactions. We were all together and, you know, like bowling or whatever, you know, just outings for the school. Then I finally decided that I was gonna tell him, but the guy, the teacher, the guy that attacked me, um, was like he would never let me leave his site because he didn't believe that I was not going to tell anybody. So, I mean, it's some like he saw me talking to the principal. At one point, he just walked up and gave me a blank check for plasmodium <laughs> with his name on it. it. Said, you know, for, had it, his signature. It said to plasmodium and then just blank. And I was like, man, you are really trying to keep me quiet. He was being all weird and like nice and all this crap, and it was just it was just bizarre. But I finally decided that I wasn't going to tell the principal. So I told him, I told him, and then I said, look, here's the only evidence that anything ever happened. And I gave him the shard of wood in my hand and said, you know, there's probably blood on the desk, you know, on your desk um, from where I, you know, the attack happened and I got it caught in my hand. I finally got it out a week later. I was like, here you go. I wrapped it up in a napkin. So here you go. Um, uh, see, this is, I'm not roasting coffee. Isn't it? Isn't it fun? I think I burnt it. I did burn it. I think I need to put them all over setting. But anyway, I am. Um, yeah, I gave it to him. I said this is the only evidence that it happened, and here you go. And um, it's up to you now. So you get to choose what you want to do with it. If you want to leave it alone, if you want to go to authorities, I'm leaving it completely. But my conscience is clear. I told you what happened now, so it's your choice. But anyway, this was this crazy intense dream that I had, and I never have dreams where I wake up and then go back to sleep and the dream keeps on going where it was. Never, ever. But I set my alarm for 7 a.m., so I went to sleep, you know, I went to, or I set my, my alarm for um, noon. Okay, so I went to bed at 6, and I set my alarm for noon, and it kept going off, and I kept waking up by my alarm but going to sleep because I wanted to see if this dream, because this dream was amazing. I never have dreams like this. It was crazy. And it was so vivid, too. Everything was in color. It was crazy. So I kept going to sleep and going right back to the dreams. Eventually I just turned my alarm off because I wanted to finish this dream. And I, I eventually woke up right where I told the principal, like, look, here it is. Now my conscience is clear. Now it's up to you to decide what you want to do with this. But here it is. Here's the only evidence that anything ever happened. And now it's yours. And that was around 10 p.m. <laughs> I finally got up. I finally woke up. And then I went down and realized that, oh shit, I told these guys I was going to start shaving at 7, and I totally didn't. Whoops. <laughs> um, so yeah, apparently he waited up till like 7.30, <laughs> the guy I was supposed to play with, the stream with. And then went to sleep. <laughs> I felt really bad. But they all eventually came back on. So anyway, I started streaming around like 11, I think, last night. And um, I've been doing that since, so it's long, you know, my work day. There you go. I did it. <laughs> it's now eight. Well, it's now nine thirty, and I only stopped. I only stopped um, about an hour ago because I need to be playing at Nordstrom. Finally, I have a gig. Finally, it's really great to finally have some work. Um, but I have a gig at Nordstrom. I thought it was from four to six, but it's not. So I was going to go to sleep. But I didn't realize it's at one. Which means I have to start playing one, which means I have to be there around 12.15, which means I have to leave here in a couple hours. So I'm just not going to go to sleep. 
So I'm just doing a vlog and now roasting coffee so I can make some coffee. It smells really delicious, by the way. It's really pretty. It's not roasting even at all. I'm not doing this right. <laughs> but yeah, this is what coffee looks like when it roasts. Isn't it neat? It smells really good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna continue doing this. I just figured that I would take this opportunity to do the vlog and let you guys know what was up with my day today. And even though I'm rambling completely because I'm trying to do three things at once. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Mm.